Thanks. We now want to welcome in author Caitlin McConnell. Caitlin, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for being here with us early. Today we are talking about Buck Nelson. Your yes. latest entry on OzarksAlive.com is about Buck Nelson. Very interesting. Tell me a little bit about him. Yeah, so you know, most of the time with Ozarks Alive, I don't fo focus on purely history topics, but this is an exception. I learned of Buck Nelson a couple years ago and decided I had to dig into more of his story. And Buck Nelson was a character from out around Mountain View, Missouri, which you know is over in um, the Howell, Texas County area where his farm was. And he believed in the 1950s that he had visited Mars, Venus, and the moon. And he went through um, various uh, newspaper articles and presentations and even published a booklet about his experience that really caught a lot of attention um, in the 1950s, both here and even across the country when he was invited to speak different places. So tell me about what he wrote about and what he talked about. How could he, quote unquote, prove that he had seen? What was his experience like? Well, the booklet is really, it's interesting. And actually, I should say, <laughs> it's just been republished. Um, in uh, early 2022, some people got, put it back out so you can go online and buy it if you want a copy. But. Um, looking through it, you know, he had kind of these different phases. They visited originally, he heard this ruckus outside, so he grabbed a camera and went out there and took these pictures, which, you know, you can kind of creatively look at them and think, maybe there's something here. It's kind of more abstract. There are these like saucer looking things that are sort of cloud-like out there, but um, they, he didn't go up that day. They came back a few other times and then eventually asked him if he wanted to go on this trip. And so he talks about getting in the spaceship, going up there, uh, stopping at these different, you know, the moon and the different planets, and then came back. And it was like, the thing that's really stuck out to me was, I think it was, I don't remember if it was Mars or Venus, but he talked about how he was, you know, a farmer and wore overalls, and on the planet they wore overalls too. So he was invited. He was invited. So they said, oh, do you want to come on this trip? Yes. Oh my gosh. Yeah, and he also, there was, you know, a lot of interesting characters, uh, in outer space as well as, as Buck, including one who he named Bucky, or said his name was Bucky, who allegedly was a distant cousin of Buck's oh. and had lived in Colorado until he became a Venusian ambassador and then I think taught English on Venus or something. As you were writing about this, did you talk to people from around the Ozarks who had originally um, seen his stories or maybe read his stories, anything like that? I did, and you know, there's a, there are several people out in Mountain View who still remember him. Um, you know, the thing that, in addition to him going to space, he was really well known for, for what's around 10 years, he did spacecraft conventions at his mm -hmm. farm in Mountain View. And that drew people from all over the country for the night, late 1950s through 60s. And so there are still people around to remember those events. Um, you know, the time's getting pretty short for a lot of personal memories, but it is, you know, definitely still a lot of awareness about that out that way today. Uh -huh. Yes, absolutely. You can read more about Buck Nelson and all of the other stories that Caitlin has written about from around the Ozarks about culture and history here on OzarksAlive.com. And just earlier today, Caitlin, we had a story about how military pilots are seeing things in the sky, unidentified objects. So, <laughs> you know, maybe everything is just coming together so. at some point. Caitlin McConnell with Ozarks Alive, thank you so much for being here with thank us. Thank you. OzarksAlive.com for more on this story and much more from around the Ozarks. Up next, Natalie will have your full forecast for um, this week one more time and the annual Martin Luther King Jr. March taking place this morning in Springfield. We'll tell you what time, where they're starting if you would like to join. The time now, 6.43. We'll be right back.